Hello people and welcome back to another video and today will be episode 2 of my new Photoshop series which is creating a thumbnail for YouTube. So today I'm going to go over fonts and text. So the main way in which you want to do this is you want to use the correct features to make it stand out and also get a nice bold font. So first of all you want to go to Google Chrome or whatever internet browser you have. And there's two main websites which you have links to down in the description below. So it is 1001fonts.com and the font. So these two websites are equally as good for me anyway. So and you can search up tags um, which link to certain fonts on this website and same with the font. So and you just want to find a nice bold font. Even that one on the home page is quite nice. So and then. Um, you then want to install them. If you don't know how to install them, well, there is a simple tutorial there. Put the font files into the Windows slash fonts. So that's on Windows XP though, but it is the same for Windows 7. So the font in which I'm going to use today, which I'll also have a link down to, is Animal Silence font. It's a really, really nice bold font. So and it has um, nice cut off edges, and overall, it's really nice for what I would like it for. So once you've installed that you then want to go to Photoshop and you want to um, have the text tool in ready to use I mean so and then horizontal and then you just want to click once with the left click you don't want to drag out a box as many other people do I find that that just becomes a pain because then um, everything gets really confined and compressed and it isn't really helpful but that's my own personal like use so then what you want to do is, is you want to have the font selected yep and then you want to have a color in which you want I'm gonna use white cuz well white's good enough for this background so and then you want to type in what your title is of the game or whatever so and then you then want to press control T remember this is free transform so then you can readjust it to any size you want. I'll just make that slightly bigger. And then you want to tilt it. Um, not everyone likes tilting the font, but I personally find that it looks um, like slightly more better then. So and then I can just snap it in the corner like that. So once you've done that, you can um, do several different things with it. So you can right click and then blending options. So and then um, you can add a drop shadow to it. That works quite nicely. So you can add a stroke to it, which is basically an outline. Now you can change the color of the outline, the opacity, everything like that. And I'm going to make mine um, quite thick, actually. I think uh, 8 pixels is quite nice. And then the other thing you want to do is to make it look kind of embossed onto the um, onto the thumbnail or background. Um, you can obviously add this um, inner shadow. So obviously it doesn't look like it is like right now. And if you take the distance all the way down, and then you increase the size ever so slightly like that, so it still has the white or whatever color you picked, but around the edges it kind of looks as if it's being pushed in. Then um, that is like the main point of her effects so it looks quite nice in my opinion so I'm gonna keep it like that but if you want to have any different colors like um, for your font you can do it in two separate ways you can get the um, font tool out again text tool I mean so and then you can highlight it and then click up here and then change the color to whatever you want so or you can go back into blending options color overlay and then you can change the color here and the opacity so um, I've even done this before where you um, go on to pattern overlay and then you can like browse for your own um, pattern so and then uh, I have in my recent video in which I did it's quite recent it was a cod for um, camo pack from MW2 in which I brought it over I used some of the camos and then overlaid it on top of the text so and little things like that look quite nice so and then once you've done that that is mainly it um, so I hope you've enjoyed this video if you did please leave a like down below and possibly subscribe for more so in the next video I shall be teaching you how to insert images um, and other things like that and then make it look the same kind of style as your font and make it look 
really nice and as if it's part of the thumbnail itself. So thanks for watching, hope you have a good rest of your day and I shall see you all later. Bye.